let us solve one more problem from finite element method or finite element analysis see the problem statement is determine the shape function n1 n2 n3 for a triangular element as shown in the figure below the x coordinate of the interior point p that is x coordinate of interior point p here this is x is 3.5 8, 5 and y coordinate is 4.8 so this is the proposed sketch y axis x axis global coordinates and this is the point node 1 node 2 node 3 these are the x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 so here i have written those points and x and y this is the point interior point so next the solution part shape function for triangular element are given by n1 equal to xi n2 equal to eta n3 equal to 1 minus xi minus eta see the symbols xi and eta these are the symbols and uh, this is a derivation this is the part of derivation you will get all these points in your derivations so i will be uploading the derivation in my next video so x x is equal to xi into x1 plus eta eta into x2 plus 1 minus xi minus eta into x3 so i have substituted the value 3.85 this one here the x value 1.5 it's given there so next all similar whatever the x coordinate value you have to substitute all these values are x coordinate value so and next the part here 3.85 that's equal to 1.5 this one and now we have to bring out this into this one multiply we have to remove the bracket so 4 into 1 4 4 into xi 4 into eta so this value you will get that is equation 1 similarly for y you have to substitute this y values these y values you have to substitute here similar to this one you have to carry out this one and you will get equation 1 and equation 2 and to get the equation I mean answer for the equation that is equation 1 and equation 2 by solving this one we will get these are these values this values how we will get is it is through the calculator I will show you the calculation value through the calculator you have to use I am using fx 991ex this is allowed in your examination so this one initially i'll show you when it is off then it's run okay on this setup go to alpha a you'll get this one alpha a alpha a you'll get this one simultaneous equation and polynomial but we are here having simultaneous equation that is why i'll click one so now how many unknowns we have got two unknowns then click two so initially substitute the value minus 2.55 equal to plus 3 that means you need not plus plus but if it is minus then you have to press minus then next is minus 2 point sorry minus 0 0.15 so next y coordination value minus minus 5 equal to minus 3.5 minus 2.2 next click it you get the x values like this this and next you have to click this one is equal to 0 0.2978 it is approximately 0 0.3 and next if you click equal to then you will get this value that is 0 0.2 see here you got 0 0.2 when you substitute this and this into the equation then you will get n3 value this one is n3 n3 is 1 minus xi minus eta so xi eta 1 minus xi eta you will get this one later simul, uh, su summation of shape function should be unity 
that is the condition it is given in the derivation so summation means n1 plus n2 plus n3 is equal to 1 so 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 these values that is equal to 1 so the proof is that left hand side is equal to right hand side thank you